So today we're finding out and testing out if you should use these one of these three players on your team, either in division rivals or as Fat Champions Weekend League. The first player we are checking out is Mikael Owen, the baby version. He is a three-star skill move player, four-star weak foot, right footed, medium medium work rates, five foot eight. Now this is not looking too good, of course, because he's the baby version. Striker, center forward, 91 pace, 88 shooting, 68 passing. Goodness gracious, the absolute dirt under your shoe, the composter that stinks from a distance. Goodness gracious, 87 dribbling, 32 defense, and 66 physicals. He is an iconic, of course, and he has a finesse like Messi and the speed dribbler trick, like a kata kata uu Neymar. Now, this card is looking quite mid, but of course, we've got Joe Ashley Cole. Look at him, man. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot, right footed, high medium markets, five foot nine. Right mid can play right mid, cam, right wing, and left wing. Oh, he's absolutely switchable across the pitch. It's crazy. Uh, he's an Englishman, Premier League, Premier League. 92 pace, 88 shooting, 89 passing, 93 dribbling, 54 defense, 75 physicals. Now, this card's stats is looking wonderful just off of the base and all that stuff like it's looking pretty good but let's see his traits the outside foot shot trait we love to see it technical dribbler and flair now look he does have 4-4 wish he had five it would have been better with those stats at his press probably would have skyrocketed he would have been flying to the moon it would have been crazy but it is what it is and lastly we got the man chavi chavi yes i packed him if you're wondering why i have this chavi card yes i packed him it was beautiful you got to see the reaction in this video right here packed chavi chavi you get me four star skill moves Four stars weak foot, right footed, high, high work rates, five foot seven in the midfield. CM, CDM, and Cam. 84 pace, 82 shooting, 97 passing. Oh, we're gonna be passing across the pitch like a madman. 95 dribbling, even better. 76 defense, a bit low for the midfield, you get me. 78 physicals. Terror traits, playmaker, playmaker, of course, team player, and the outside foot shot trait we love to see. This card is looking like, will he be division rivals worthy? Because we're about to go into the elite division of division rivals and see if he can play there. And we're also going to put them in here as it's FUT Champions Weekend League. See which cards can play in it. I'm already suspecting that uh, Owen is not going to be great, but he has the horse beside him to support. So let's get to it. This is the team we are running with. Let's get into the game play. Our first upcoming opponent. Now listen, I'm going to try and play three midfielders as well for Chavi because I don't think he'll play well with two midfields. He's not a great defender, you get me? East Paris. Flafont, Lucio, Sergio Guerramos, Yeah, 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 Ukuku, Jude Bellingham, Mbappe, the Jarzinho effect, and Al Omarion. Let's get to it. These overpowered players, man. Joe Cole. See how he feels on the ball, Joe Cole. Oh, that's some nice R1 dribbling from Joe Cole. Joe Cole. Joe Cole. Joe Cole outside for he saved it. See you, swear to God. Goodness gracious. Xavi. Nice, Xavi. That's not. Oh, the ball's glued to him. Mikael Owens. Ah. Xavi. You can see the poor defending there. But the way he feels on the ball, insane. Owens tried it. Angle was too precise. Mikel Owens. Woo, Verghost. Nice, Chavi. Woo, Verghost. Legend, man. One of the best cards I've ever used, bro. Chavi. Nice, Chavi. Oh, Swift. Owen. Owen. Give him a heart because we love to see it. Oh, and actually scored that. That composure was crazy. Pedro off the pose. That's my luck in this piece of shit video game. Our upcoming opponent, Los Champitos. Snizy, Sergio Guerramas, Ferdinand, Pulu Pul, Mbappe, Cruyff, Hugo Sanchez, Adrani Rabi. Let's get to it. Nice, Chavi. Oh, beautiful positioning there. Ah, oh, Owens. Slow there. Run. Bozo. Goodness gracious. That's that three star. Poor. Nice. Chavi. Finesse. Fit. Oh, again, Ramos blocked it. Chavi. Chavi. Oh. Skibili, dabili, dibili, filili, dibili, 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 Did you see that goal from Chavi, Chavi? That long shot was elite, Chavi. Get that? Nice, Chavi. Oh, my goodness. Chavi. Chavi. <laughs> the beautiful dribbling. Over the top. That's a beautiful ball. Oh my goodness. Robert Keane. 
Oh, look at Verkos. Absolute moron. That was crazy, man. Unbelievable video game. Like, the game is so garbage. <laughs> oh, he rice quit. Why did he just turn off the console? But that was crazy. Don't tell me it's going to do under review BS, man. Yeah, we cut the dub. The Barcelona man. Lake City is who we're going against. Van der Sar, Maldenye, CJ Ramos, Kakakakai, Capital Brune, Hugo Sanchez, El Sharari, Matthias, Billy Lam. Let's get to it. Oh my. His long shots are terrible. Nice, Tavi. Nice, Tavi. The Ghost! Nice, Tavi. Joko. Yep, player. Mako! And that was a lucky goal, but you know, this is the worst FIFA of all time, so it's expected. Give him the heart because we actually. I shouldn't have given the art because we actually don't love to see it. Game. Look, he rage quit. Yashin, Marquinhos, Sergio Aguirre Ramos, Vieira, Matthias, JJ Zucocha, David Capdevilla, Mbappe, and the Jorginho effect. To Mikel Owen. Mikel Owen. That was such a weird, like the animations are so inconsistent. Oh my yo, once you get a green on this guy's shot, it's crazy, man. Broken. Nice Chavi. <laughs> nice Chavi. Daniyama. Daniyama! Go! Celebrate. Joe Cole has been a ghost for me. Nothing. Nice. Oh, that's some. Some poor R1 dribbling from M Mikael Owens. Joe Cole. Verkos. Verkos! Ah, oh, I saved it. Mikael Owens! No penalty, man. DK just, uh, Sergio Ramos just ruins the animation. You love to see it, man. Daniyama. Verkos. Verkos! Oh my goodness. He's disgusting. It's supposed to be about Mikael Owens. That was a good pass from Mikael Owens, though, but. It is a rage quit. Holy, usually do these things for anybody. The new opponent, Dirty Cruz. Emmanuel Neuer, Homos, Kim Pembem, Zinze Zinze Zinze, Mbappe, Puskas, Kirin the Dream Zama, Pedri. Let's get to it. I think he has Captain David Villa as well. Come on, Mikel. Mikel Owens. No pace. Desaibo! Beautiful head up. What a movement from Joe Cole there. He got a little boost, but it's nothing special. Xavi. Beautiful ball. That's the passing we love to see. Mikel! Give him the heart because we love to see it. Oh my goodness. Give him the heart. Xavi. Beautiful. quit so my thoughts on these cards now you can see they're all basic right now and i did this for a reason because i wanted to see how they perform and you can see what they lack so you know exactly what they need now with Mikel owens i'm telling you right now his pace wasn't the best so let's be honest his shooting was pretty good too just hunter him this is the baby version so it's not even special anyways and obviously that three-star skill moves came into play this card is pretty mid he's gonna be very common at a point is he worth it I mean, for a cheap team, he's probably like 20 to 30K, huh? I don't know his price, but he's he's okay. He has some banging shots sometimes. I say, if you want a cheap team, there's definitely better options, so not really worth it, Mikael Owen. Joe Cole. Now, Joe Cole is absolutely needing a hunter. Like, his pace was okay. He had that outside foot shot trait, which was nice to see. He was doing the animation a few times, but that four-star skill move just makes him not tremendous. Like, I say Joe Cole, for his price of 100K, which will definitely drop later on, is he worth it? If he was five-star skillers, absolutely worth it. Four Star skill moves. I mean, since he can play so many positions and his chemistry is good for the Premier League, I say he is worth it, but he's not going to transcend your team. He's not going to be something special. You get me? But still a good card. The passing's good. The, the physicals is okay. 
the dribbling is nice he doesn't feel the best on the ball but it's still pretty good i'm gonna say it worth it now chavi 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 100 you got a shadow him because with the 78 physical even if you anchor him or something he will not be strong no matter what he's never gonna have the good physicals he's gonna be weak so 100 shadow him his dribbling was phenomenal passing even better definitely a proper card to use is he good in like the top tier teams when you're playing against the most difficult opponents he doesn't shine for his price of a million you definitely need three center mids and like two strong like box to box midfielders for him to be elite for you say you have a ingolo ingolo conte and a veron or something or keen beside him then it'll be nice right now just one keen isn't the best it was okay if you had two box to box midfielders and then chavi the dimer himself then he's definitely worth it so i'm gonna say chavi is still a solid card definitely put a shadow on him for shelf for shelf i also reviewed brahim diaz here and on top of that burk cap and close if you want to see that as well be sure to like comment subscribe and i'm most definitely out adios adios amigos